Thank you, Mr. President. Later tonight, the Senate will vote on my amendment, number 5185 to the PACT Act. And as my colleague from New York was just saying, it is time that we deal with the issues of toxic exposure. And as a member of the VA committee, this is something that I've worked on for the last few years. Tennessee has a large population of veterans. And we have talked a good bit about this issue and how they receive their care. One of the concerns that we had discussed in committee, in our hearings, uh, we have discussed it with our VSOs. We've discussed this issue as we have talked with veterans who have come to us and to our meetings is their frustration with having access to the queue but not getting access to the care. And I think that we have to look at this and say, those are very different. Now, I join our veterans in being frustrated with the fact that there's access to the queue to get on that wait list, but not getting that care. So the amendment that I am offering is not political, is not controversial. It is a simple but much needed improvement to the PACT Act that will allow toxic exposed veterans to gain access to community care to ensure they have a speedy process to care. The amendment is critical to the success of this program, and we all want the program to be successful. But what we know is that the VA is not capable of implementing the PACT Act as it is written. They have neither infrastructure nor personnel to do that. What we have learned is that the VA cannot deliver what is promised because it does not have the capacity to handle the increased cases. Secretary McDonough said as much in testimony submitted to the VA committee in March of this year. Right now, the claims backlog at the VA sits at 168,000 cases. The PACT Act, as written, will increase that backlog backlog by more than one million cases. Now, right now in Tennessee, this is the practical effect of this, Mr. President. In Tennessee, veterans who come to me are telling me they're waiting about 100 days for a primary care appointment at the VA. And for many of our veterans, that is just step one, getting that primary care appointment so they get on the list. So after they call, they're waiting 100 days to get that first appointment. And then they get a referral on to someone else, a specialist. Now. Our veterans in Tennessee, once they get that referral, it's 39 days to get to mental health care, 44 days to get to a dental appointment, 33 days if they're trying to see a cardiologist, 28 days to see a gynecologist, 30 days to get to someone who can help them with pain. That is the amount of weight. To me, that is unacceptable completely unacceptable. My colleagues on both sides of the aisle know many, if not most, of these veterans who have toxic exposure are deteriorating rapidly. They do not have time to wait while the VA decides how they're going to implement this. They deserve access to care as quickly as they can possibly get it. We are so close to getting these veterans the care 
that they deserve. But if the PACT Act is going to work for veterans, we need to step up and give them access to community care. My amendment will open up that access. It will make that an option so they don't have to struggle through waiting in the queue. They can go to a physician in their community for that primary care appointment so that they can get this process started. This will help them to avoid the long wait times, the arbitrary hurdles, and it will let them seek that care in the community if they can get it faster than making that trip to the VA. As I said, this is not controversial. There's no political scandal on it. It's a simple fix that will ensure that this promise that we are going to make in the PACT Act will be made to every single veteran that has experienced toxic exposure so that we are certain that the PACT Act does not end up as a false promise or a false hope. These veterans have given so much. They have served honorably. It is imperative that we provide them not access to the queue, but access to the care that they have earned. Thank you. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on the amendment when it comes up for a vote later this evening. I yield the floor. Senator from